So I've noticed a funny thing. A lot of people are shy poopers. And the second thing that I've noticed, they weren't always like this. They weren't born shy poopers. Almost all of them have a tragic backstory of how the fuck they became shy poopers. It's not like God looked at them and was like, You will be a shy pooper. No, something happened, they became this way. And then I noticed, wait, I'm a fucking shy pooper. What's my origin story? Oh yeah, it's because of him. So as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I was serving the army for three years. And let me tell you, the bases aren't the most hygienic places in the world, okay? I mean, some of them were so bad, I bet even the virus we now have, which we will not name, would have been like... What the fuck is going on? And I am not even exaggerating here. There was this one time I've returned to the base after a weekend at home, and I was on the bus for about two hours. And I drank a lot of coke, so I needed to use the bathroom hard. As I opened the door to the restroom, all I saw was shit everywhere. On the floor, on the walls, in the sink, even on the ceiling. How the fuck did they get it on the ceiling? So I peed in the bush. There was no way I'm gonna go in that room. Now I don't know why someone would do such a thing. But the amount of shit that was in that room meant that that was a group project. No way on earth one guy could produce this. So yeah, I guess they were making a group project, but with shit. So yeah, like I said, not the cleanest place on earth. Oh, and there was a lot of holes in the wall. Which leads me to my origin story. How I became, hold my poop for a month, man. So army food isn't the best too. And on a specific day of the week, it was the worst. Usually Mondays. You see, it's because the cooks just got to the base from home. They didn't have much time to make something. So they would make us the cheapest frozen burgers on the fucking planet. I swear, one time, I was at the base kitchen. I was cleaning the dishes. It's something every soldier has to do once a week. And I see one of the cooks taking out of the freezer a pack of those cheap-ass hamburgers. And then the box of hamburgers started buzzing. Hey, wait a goddamn minute. Hamburgers don't buzz. Hamburgers do... So the cook opens up the pack of burgers and we see like 3-4 flies in it? How did they survive the winter? I mean the freezer. So yeah, that's, that's the food we ate. Hence why I had to use the bathroom on that specific day. Cause my stomach felt like... Oh no, 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 please, don't betray me like this, don't betray me like this. So I got to the bathroom, find the least dirty toilet, and, well, yeah. Now I'm sitting on that semi-clean toilet, and I'm still in pain, mind you. And I'm thinking to myself, this cannot get any worse. Oh, I was wrong. I looked at the corner of that one by one meter room, and I see a little hole in the wall. And next to that, a big ass spider. Neat. Now all I want to do at that moment was get up, burn the fucking place. But I can't get up because my stomach still hurts. I wasn't finished, if you know what I'm saying. But apparently my stomach got scared as much as me. Because about two seconds after I saw that spider, my stomach was like... RUN! So that's why I basically can't poop anywhere other than home. I mean, a spider bit Peter Parker and he became a superhero. Mine didn't even touch me and I became hold your poop for a month, man. So yeah, a few wins, a few lost. If you want a moral to this story, well, it's kind of obvious, isn't it? Just don't be like me. If you're going to use a bathroom you don't know, go in with a flamethrower or a bazooka.